What is up, sluts? It is Dinosaurs here, coming to you guys with a commentary over some Transformers War for Cybertron gameplay, and today, I'm pretty excited because today is my YouTube birthday, and uh, who else is excited? John, it can't just be me. Of course, everyone's excited. This is one year for me on YouTube, and that's just amazing, at least to me. And basically, about a week ago, I decided to send out a video saying, hey, ask me questions, and... Uh, luckily enough, I got a pretty good response, so why don't we go ahead and get that going. I have all the questions laid out and everything for me, and uh, right now you're hearing some music by Sin City Spartan. He's a pretty boss musician who makes the the 8-bit wub wub, but I don't have that much time, so I'm going to leave a link to his uh, SoundCloud and his channel in the description. Check him out. He's awesome. But yeah. So the first question comes from Sin City Spartan HD. And uh, he asked me, what's my favorite video game? And I wasn't sure how to how to answer this, if I was supposed to say favorite video game of all time or favorite video game as of right now. Because my favorite video game right now is Batman Arkham City. And that's the way I decided to answer it because Batman Arkham City is awesome. And, you know, it actually does have a chance to be in the running for my favorite video game of all time. It actually is pretty fun. Um, but the next question comes from Silly Solomon, a pretty awesome Call, Call of Duty commentator. Uh, and I thought the answer was pretty fitting, but uh, his his question was lol at description. My question is, what was the first video game you ever got seriously addicted to? And uh, this one actually has a pretty funny story. Um, basically, the first game I ever bought, I got really addicted to was Call of Duty 3. Uh, Call of Duty 3 came out uh, a little bit after I got an Xbox Live, and uh, my friend Malik had just recently moved next door, and so every day after school. We would go home, play on the map that was like a dam or something on uh, Call of Duty 3. And it was just so much fun. Every day in school we'd be like, we're going to kick those Axis' asses today. And uh, basically we never did because the Axis was overpowered on that game. And um, yeah, I mean that game, we played it literally probably every day for our entire 4th grade year. Until he had finally got an Xbox of his own and we started playing some other stuff. And he'd never, he didn't come over as much anymore, but uh, during that time when he did come over, like, every day, it was a lot of fun. We were so addicted, and it was amazing. Now, the next question comes from Mr. Tall Chief. He had another amazing YouTube call commentator. Not Call of Duty, he's a Halo commentator, actually. But uh, he asked me, what got me into YouTube? And uh, the question is pretty simple. Um, blame truth, really? I just... I One day I was homesick, stumbled upon a Call of Duty video, I was like, what the heck is a Call of Duty video? Seriously? I mean, I had never heard of this, this, this was like revolutionary to me. I was like, how, like, what is this? How are you getting your gameplay onto YouTube? And at this point, I was just recently getting into YouTube as well, so like all this was starting so fast and everything, but uh, yeah. And then later that year I got a capture card, started uploading my videos, went from montages to commentaries. And uh, then I got an PVR and I really got into it, started up the Dinosaurs channel, and that's when it all really got going. So yeah. Um, the next question comes from uh, ODJ Productions, and he says, if you had to pick one YouTube commentator to be friends with, who would it be? And uh, this one actually really did make me think quite a bit, because um, there's, I've narrowed it down to like the top three. I think I'd love to be friends with C Nanners. I'd love to be friends with BBK Dragoon in real life. He's awesome. Uh, and Only Me Blade. And I pretty much narrowed it down to Only Me Blade because Only Me Blade is a boss. He's got an awesome personality, I think. He's, he's just like really down to earth. He's not just like. He's not fake at all, and I love it. So Only Me Blade is definitely the person I would want to be real life friends with. Uh, next question comes from Silly Solomon again, and he says, Wait. If you had to increase the community of one game, which would which would I pick? And I said DCU Online, uh, DC Universe Online, great, um, massively multiplayer online game. Uh, I play it a lot, actually. Very fun game, but the problem is there's just not enough people posting this game to YouTube. I have almost no way to get tips on how to be better at PvP. It's very frustrating. I mean, if any of you guys have a computer, uh, Get this game, it's free to play on Steam, so just go right now. I might even link it in the description that you can just go to Steam through the link and download it from there. Uh, amazing game. Just fantastic. You get to make your own character. 
uh, pick their powers, pick their mentor like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, the Joker, Cersei, or Lex Luthor, and you get to pick what city, what quest, like everything. It's an amazing game. Make videos on it. I need tips. Um, so the next question is actually pretty hilarious. Magic the Mongoose asks, um, why am I so awesome, Dino? And he wasn't referring to me, he was talking about himself. And, uh, you're probably awesome, Magic, because, I don't know, you're probably just born that way, right? Like, uh, Miley Cyrus or something? I don't know. Um, next question comes from Zeus975. This was also another thought-provoking, uh, question, and I really did like answering it. So, what's the game you've had most fun with in real life with in real life friends. Now this really took some time and effort to think. I narrowed it down to Rock Band and GTA 4. Um, Rock Band I had a lot of fun with. We all mastered some, we all got up to expert on like the different instruments that we would play. Very fun for like all the time that we played it. Um, but I had, to narrow it, I had to bring it down to GTA 4. Um, me and my friends, we play that like almost every weekend. Um, it's so much fun. We always go on killing sprees. I'm an amazing driver on that game, not to toot my own horn, but uh, I am quite the driver. And um, yeah, it's a very fun game to play with your friends if you have friends who are willing to do fun stuff. So yeah, that's the answer to the question. Thank you for that. Um, now the next question comes from Pies World, who's actually a pretty long-term subscriber, and uh, we played a little bit together every now and then. It's pretty fun. He's an awesome guy. Uh, he asks, if you could fly to anyone on the planet, who would it be? And uh, I pretty much said Christian Bale. Uh, if you guys don't know, Christian Bale is the actor for the past three Batman movies, or the past two, I guess, and the new one that's coming out this summer. And basically, I would fly to him and, uh, you know, pretty much interrogate him until he told me the storyline and where I can get a uh, pirated copy of the new movie before it's out. So <laughs> that's what I would. That's who I would fly to. Um, next question comes from my friend actually from in real life I'm not gonna put his name out there just in case but his username is peppermint gaming uh, he asked me top five superheroes and villains so here we go top five heroes of course you guys already know Batman for obvious reasons he's awesome kick-ass freaking amazing guy Batman Beyond because uh, I grew up with him he reminds me a lot of myself in a way and I think that's just kinda like what they were going for and I love that character he's just awesome uh, now the next one, uh, I had to go for Martian Manhunter, uh, I don't know if you guys know him, he's a Martian and he hunts men, so, he's pretty badass, he can, like, turn into anything, pretty much, I don't know if anything or anyone, uh, I'm not too up to date with his powers, but the next one I picked was Blue Beetle, these are all the heroes I picked, and, um, next one was Aquaman, cause Aquaman, you can make fun of him all you want, but how cool would it be to be able to just, like, go to the bottom of the ocean and make a city? That'd be pretty sick. Um, now, for my top five villains, I said uh, Bane, my number one villain. I love the fact that they had a story where he breaks Batman's back, and I'm so looking forward to see if he does that in the movie that's coming out, because Bane is the main villain in the next movie. And I just, I hope they break his back. That'd just be the coolest scene. Um, I, I, next, I picked Brainiac. He's a superhero. I mean, uh, he's Superman's one of. Superman's biggest villains. Uh, he's just basically a robot. Pretty awesome guy, uh, I guess. Darkseid or Darkseed is the guy I picked next. And I love Darkseid because he just puts Superman in his place, you know? he He's definitely like the yin to... Or the yang to ba uh, Superman's yin or whatever. And uh, the Joker, uh, fourth... Um, I don't know. I like the Joker. I'm not a huge fan of him. I think the way they did him in, in The Dark Knight was great. Uh, and the last one I picked was Megatron. And I actually have a really good explanation for Megatron. He is just awesome. I mean, he's just like, go out there, and uh, if you die, I don't really give a shit. That's all I gotta say. Um, but yeah, that's all the questions, guys. And I want to thank you all for watching, making this a great YouTube birthday for me. So again, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll talk to you guys later.